Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another amazing video. For me, it is upper day, upper, <laughs> it is upper body day today. Upper body day today. So that is so hard to say really fast. Uh, or maybe I'm just haven't had enough caffeine today. Or maybe I've had too much. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna be fueling today's workout with Intracell. This is by Prime Evil Labs, one of my adored sponsors. And they always make sure that I am fueled in my session, they send me everything that I need to get everything done. This is the first time I'm actually tasting uh, Intracell Black as it's just come out. So I'm very excited, <laughs> it's like opening a present, to give it a go. If I can find the, uh, if I can find the opening. Alrighty. <sighs> Jesus, like you really have to earn it to get in there, don't you? Oh, what flavor is this one? Rainbow Sherbet, look at the picture. Isn't that just advertising? It makes you just really want some. It's like a treat. So um, I'm gonna go in here and find the scoop. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, oh, oh. Ta-da! Nice and full for me already. Now I'm gonna be having one scoop today because I don't want to overdo it because I haven't tasted it yet. I don't want to spill it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's see the damage. Not bad, not bad at all. That's good for me. Now for the long-awaited taste testing. I can smell that. Yeah, it's strong. Wow. It's uh, very sherbet-y. When I cook, I like to clean up the mess before I taste. I'm like that at home as well. All right, okay, let's do it. All right. It actually tastes like sherbet. I haven't had a lot of sherbet in my life, but I remember having these little bombs when I was really little and it tastes just like that. You know the ones I'm talking about? It's hard on the inside and it's got powder on the inside. Yeah. Hard on the outside, powder on the inside. I forget what they're called. Sherbet bombs. I think it's sherbet bombs. Pretty happy with that. Time to get the session started. switch on my rear delts as well which is such a small muscle group and a lot of people actually ignore it and it can make you look or it can make your shoulders be brought forward because of that tightness through your chest there's no like stabilizer in the back so you can be like this and not have that nice rounded shape that looks really attractive in shoulders so with this movement you want to keep your elbow tight into your sides as much as you can obviously you're not going to be able to keep it right in there but you want to make sure it's not flared out or anywhere else so chest up nice and tight plant your feet on the ground externally rotate and make sure you're really thinking about that re delt give it a little squeeze at the top not at the top at the side squeeze bring it in squeeze and you should be able to feel a little pump going on there with this one you don't want to go too heavy because it defeats the purpose of warming up so it's a little good uh, pre-exercise starter <laughs> Where did the time go? It's like we're on different roads. The distance is taking its toll. I wanna make so I just finished up with barbell presses. Shoulder press. This is a really great um, mass builder. With this one, you want to make sure that your wrists and your shoulders are underneath each other. You don't want to be flared out and too in. So everything in an alignment. I went wider grip for this. You can, if you want to take it a bit 
closer, just making sure that these are always the same. In regards to positioning on your wrist, make sure it's on the outside because that's probably the strongest point to push. And with momentum, don't use your legs too much. You want it to be more strict because it is military. Well, today's one was military, so I was just bringing it to where my chin was and then pushing up all the way. This one's a really good one to try. At home. Or not at home. Or at the gym. <laughs> So our third exercise was chin-ups. I did this in a wide position, hand, hands over, not close under, anything like that. Keeping it nice and simple today. This is gonna work a lot and add mass to my back, as well as give you the, like with women, I guess. I, I know I'm talking to men as well right now, but with women, we like that nice, like small waist and you know, broad upper body, everything look proportional. So yeah, with this one, taking it wide, using the lats and really making sure that I'm pulling my elbows into my side and contracting down here. Nice full stretch at the bottom into your sides. Real simple exercise. If you find that you can't actually hold your own weight, you can do this on an assisted chin-up machine. So, or if there's no assisted chin-up machine, you could also use a band, wrap it around the top and put your knees in or your legs and have assistance through the bottom of the movement as well, but it will still be hard at the top. That will also help grow your chin-ups. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this today. It was unassisted and I did about, you know, four sets of five, so it's good. That look of disgust. <laughs> Getting to the end of my workout now. I've just found a place in the middle of the gym to do dumbbell bent over row. Uh, with this one, you want to kind of, it's hard depending on the weight. I've gone pretty heavy for my body weight today, so it's hard for me to maintain perfect form. But <laughs> what you can do is make sure that you are planted nice and firmly on the ground, tight lower back. And when you row, you want to think about playing a guitar string. So you want to go up towards the back. You don't want to overcompensate and squeeze your scapula. So you just want to be focusing on the lat here. So keeping everything nice and tight and retracting that area just there and squeezing. Stretch it out, squeeze. So keep in mind, no retraction, no rotation, everything nice and tight. That's upper body done. Thanks for tuning in today. If you have any questions about anything that I did or you want to know anything about the supplements that I took today, please drop a comment below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next week.